Welcome to another Numismatic Notes with Benjamin. I am Benjamin. It is mid-January of 2023, and I am so glad to be here. I had so much fun putting this uh, theme group of notes together for you tonight. I'm going to share with you a selection, because there must be hundreds of more, banknotes that depict scenes of battle, or battle scenes to be found on banknotes. I have a combination of land, um, modern, uh, 1800s, uh, and water battle scenes here for you. And I did cursory research on them, like if the battle had a name, I tried to find out about it, but I certainly have not gone into the detail I would go in if this was a video that dealt with a single banknote. And there's a few banknotes in here that will become single um, banknote videos in the future. But let's go ahead and get started. Bear with me. I don't have them in any particular order. I just wanted to share them with you. The first note I want to share with you is the South Vietnam 200 Dong. Um, and it shows the battle of... Well, it actually shows um, Nguyen Hue leading his troops with the banner in Chinese, Quang Jung. And I'm using the Korean pronunciation of the Chinese characters. I believe they pronounce it Quang Trung in Vietnam. And I don't know that this is a particular battle scene. It's just Nguyen Hue on horseback right here. You'll see on the face of the note a much more... Um, close-up visage of the gentleman right there a nice decent note the second note i'm going to share with you is uh from bangladesh and it is a 50 taka commemorative and on the back of the note we have freedom fighters this is actually um freedom fighters of the liberation army so i imagine this has to do with the um people that helped fight against pakistan for their independence Certainly an interesting note, and I'm glad that Bangladesh is jumping on the commemorative bandwagon. They've needed to for a while, and their notes just seem to be getting better and better. We're going to move from there to Argentina at 20 pesos, and on this note we show the naval battle of Vuelta de Obligado on the back. So, a naval battle. I don't know what it is. Maybe because I'm a Cancer, although I don't prescribe to Zodiac per se. But I have just always enjoyed themes with water. On coins, banknotes, ships. I guess it's because I was born and raised in a landlocked region of the United States. But here we have a beautiful, beautiful battle scene. Moving on to Chile. Here's a tin of Scudos. And it depicts the um, embrace between San Martin and O'Higgins after the Battle of Maipu in 1818. I hope I said that right. I could be wrong. But right there you see the two gentlemen embracing in victory after this battle in 1818. And I believe it's the Battle of Maipu. A lot of these, uh, Abrazo de Maipu, um, a lot of these notes have the battle titled for us. So... There you go. The next note we have is from Brazil, and it is a 200 Cruzeiros. <coughs> Pardon me for that cough. On the back of the note we have, I can't tell if it's one battle scene or if it's two or three battle scenes that they superimposed on one note. But this note is artwork that depicts uh, the, the painting called The Independence or Death, Cry the cry of death, the Grito do Ipiranga. Pardon my Portuguese. <laughs> but we got a lot of fellas on horseback, swords drawn. It was a day that probably started out nice and probably ended up bloody. There's definitely more of a story to these notes, so that's interesting too. The next note is from Algeria. It is a hundred dinar, and this hundred dinar de depicts the Battle of El Harach in 1775. There's a scene of uh, a, a charging cavalry on this side, and on the other side of the note, looks like some sort of uh, battle rig. 
some sort of ship there, and it may it may just be a merchant ship or it may be a battleship. I see rowing, and I don't know that I necessarily see uh, indications of it being a battleship. But there you go. There's a there's definitely some more uh, knife drawn folks on horseback there. So it's an interesting uh, horseback battle. Bait note, and like I said, a battle from the 1700s, nicely depicted. Although I wouldn't have known it was the 1700s because it looks like they still were fighting with some of that gear in the 18 and the 1900s as well. Our next note is from Hungary, and it is a 50 forint. This particular note is from 1986, and it shows the Battle of Kuruk versus Labank. And I don't know if that's the generals or just a couple of people, but it looks like some ticked off people on this side of the note. We have, an, we have somebody unseated from a horse. I guess it's this poor... Uh, dead man here, knocked off of this horse there. Several other folks after each other with their swords drawn. So, uh, yeah, at least a skirmish between um, these factions. So there you go. Let's move on to a goodness, Swaggerty. People don't like my fingernails, and then whenever I don't have them, I can't hardly get the notes <laughs> moved in time. This is one of my favorite notes in this grouping. In fact, I'll be honest with you, this note seems to be engraved in a very, very detailed way. And um, I look forward to finding out more information on this note. Very fine, detailed depiction of General Rafael Urdaneta on this front of the 20 Bolivars of Venezuela. And on the back of this beautiful Venezuelan note, we have one of the most fantastic battle scenes at sea or at lake that I've ever seen. Because this note here actually depicts the Battle of Lake Maracaibo. Um, on This battle happened on the 24th of July in 1823. I just think it's well designed. I can almost smell the smoke and hear the muffled booms of the cannon from this viewpoint. And just these dozens of ships after each other. There's more to this battle, and I anticipate getting to share it with you in a unique video someday. Let's move on to Honduras. Here's a lovely um, five Limpiras from Honduras. And on the back of this note is a rather detailed engraving of the Battle of Trinidad on November 11th, 1827. 9-1-1-1827. Or I'm sorry, 11-11. <laughs> 11 11 1827 but there you go uh this this is the battle of trinidad and i don't know any more than that but it's detailed enough that i might explore it further do you notice how one side seems to be much more colorful than the other i wonder if there's something to that but if you look at the note as a whole from uh left to right there is a whole rainbow of, of colors going on there i haven't tried to see if it's in the order of the rainbow but it looks like i see oranges blues greens some pinks maybe over here but um truly a beautiful note let's move on to this 25 dinar of iraq this note seems to be popular it's the only note of iraq that depicts saddam hussein in military uniform and uh Beautiful battle scene on the face of this note. The back of the note is a memorial. And were I to pursue the, you know, this note as a single video, I would have to talk about this lion here, and I'd have to talk about the Ishtar Gate of Babylon, which is over here to the right. And then here we have a monument. Um, it's really a nice note, even though it is from Iraq, and this man was no friend to the United States. The battle that is depicted is the battle of, well, what is the battle? Uh, for this particular note, it would be the battle of Cadizlia from actually 636 BC or, or I'm sorry, AD, uh, 636 AD or the common era CE. And, um, uh, there's probably more to that battle, but I think it was the battle that was uh, that was important to um, Islam. I don't have all the details because this isn't a 
note that I've done a lot of research on yet other than the name of the battle, but this note would probably warrant having its own video as well. Lovely battle scene on horseback we have there. Our next note is from the UK. It is a five pound note and it depicts one of my favorite um, portraits of Queen Elizabeth on a banknote. I love the robe she's wearing and I love that she's wearing uh, George IV's um, diadem right there. And while well, off the top of my head I can't tell if these are garter robes or admiral's robes. I'm going to guess garter robes right here. But the reason this note is in here is because of what's on the other side. And this is a note that commemorates uh, the battle in 1812 of Salamanca. And there is our there is our Duke of Wellington. And in the foreground and to the background, we have scenes of the Battle of Salamanca right here. We have, again, for the time period, soldiers on foot, officers on horseback, swords drawn, cannon, actual, and dead people on the ground. Lots of themes <laughs> fit on this banknote. And um, definitely one of Britain's greatest heroes. Right there. Beautiful, beautiful banknote. We're moving back to um, Algeria with this 500 dinar banknote. And one of the reasons I like this is because while it shows a typical battle scene for the time period, what isn't typical are those horse, or hort, not horses, these elephants, these war elephants here. And these war elephants are depicted so big and the soldiers so small that I can't help but think of that uh, famous battle scene in the Lord of the Rings movies where they had those elephants there that were just monstrously large. And uh, I imagine I would be terrified of them as as indeed were everybody in the, <laughs> the Lord of the Rings movie. But what I didn't know is that sometimes when these little people up front irritated these war elephants to a point that they lost control, that these soldiers on back actually had um, metal stakes that they would then have to hammer into the head of their war elephant to get it to stop down and from destroying not just the enemy but themselves. But this uh, this banknote here is showing Hannibal and his elephants. And so I'm guessing this is some kind of Punic War. I can't tell if this would be prior to him crossing the Alps with elephants or if this is after he got over the Alps and killed, started killing people before his all of his elephants died. So I don't really know. I mean, it's definitely something that deserves a little bit more of a research. And since I don't read Arabic, that's going to be problematic. It, it is something I could pursue. Hold tight, guys. We just have a couple more to go. This is actually one of my nice little notes from Cuba. And it's very bucolic on this side. We have a farm scene. And over here, we have people harvesting tobacco. And then in this scene, we have people actually processing the tobacco that's been aged and hung, I'm assuming, into uh, Cuban cigars. So this is actually a banknote that would fit nicely in tobacco on a banknote, uh, cigars on a banknote, smoking on a banknote, Phrygian slave caps on a banknote, palm trees, keys, sunrises, and sunsets. But this note also fits in a battle scene theme. Because on the front of this note, we have the battle... Uh, <laughs> Strangely enough, I think, unless I wrote this down wrong, it's the Battle by Severe Weather. And it's from uh, December 15th in 1895. And it shows a charge. I, it doesn't look like a very big charge. And I, I don't know why it's called the Battle of Severe Weather. Maybe that's what it translated to in English. But it's a battle nonetheless, and it definitely requires more of my attention because it's not even making much sense to me, y'all. But I've noticed that not everybody watches my full videos anyway, so very few of you will notice that I really don't know too much about that battle. And bringing to closure this battle scene theme on banknotes is this five escudos from Chile. This particular escudo shows the battle of uh, Rancagua, which uh, is from 1814. And the only other battle I know from 1814 is, in 1814 we took a little trip along the... Uh, something that down the mighty Mississippi 
Took a little bacon and we took a little beans and we met the bloody British near the town of New Orleans. So my memory's not all that great. I don't think there's a there's a banknote with that battle on it. And Great Britain certainly didn't honor it on their banknotes. I'm not sure a little battle in New Orleans would uh, have met all that <laughs> to them. In fact, I understand that that particular battle was fought after the war was over. They just didn't know that the war was over <laughs> when they had that battle. Nevertheless, we have the Battle of Rancagua right here. And it's a little exciting. We have, fi we have uh, it looks like they're... They have fire, firebrands, swords, um, guns, people on horseback, people on foot. It's a fiery battle indeed. Maybe that's a church there in the background. Don't know. It's definitely an interesting thing and I'm sure, theme, and I'm sure that people have about 10,000 additional notes they could add to this theme, and I hope you choose to do so. Several of the no these notes are going to be repeated in videos where I focus on a single bank note. I am Benjamin. This is Numismatic Notes. If you haven't uh, decided to like or subscribe, please like and subscribe, and feel free to share my video any place it's appropriate. I'm, I'm Benjamin. This has been Numismatic Notes with Benjamin. Have a jewel of a day.